Welcome back to another one of Don's Get Your Health Back series. Today I've invited Shauna Shaw from Bottoms Up Colonics because I have an interest in not only what we eat, but what the environment does to us and our bodies. Now, our environment affects our digestive system as well, doesn't it, Shauna? It certainly does. We're ingesting, breathing in, taking in toxicity every day. Every day, Don. So even with what I wash my hands with, I wash my hands in petrol, that's going to end up in my digestive system. Absolutely. It permeates through the skin, the blood supply goes, takes it to the areas to be packaged up, which is predominantly the liver. The liver then packages it up, breaks it down, puts it in the right package, sends it down to the bowel for elimination. So if I'm putting toxic chemicals on my skin like uh, cosmetics that have got a lot of poisons in them, we could say, that's going to get into my digestive system. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right through that blood supply system. You have little capillary beds that are attached to your skin, feeding your skin, but also taking away what the skin can't handle. And so, yeah, that all goes through into the lymphatic system, gets broken down, sent into the liver, where the liver's job it's got three phases of detoxification. Yep. Phase one is where it receives. Phase two, packaging it up. Phase three, getting it out of the body. And then that's the, the Collins job, to get it out of the body. So if I've got a toxic job or a toxic environment, mm. this is getting into my liver, and now my liver has to process all of this unnecessary stuff. And this is even without what we're eating. Correct. This is just our environment. And when the liver's working that hard, and a lot of that's happening at night, we're not getting a proper night's sleep. No, you tend to wake up around that 2 to 3 a.m. time if your liver's really in some sort of distress. We call it liver time, and the Chinese medicine um, are well and truly keyed on to that time frame. It's a meridian time frame is what I'm trying to say. So 2 to 3 o'clock, we know it's liver gallbladder? Yeah, exactly. Um, and that's going to that uh, diminish sleep will create tiredness and lethargy. Even Irritability. The emotions of the liver are anger, resentment, frustration. Resentment being feeling confused, used, all those sorts of wonderful negative emotions that uh, can be involved in that too. They can create that feeling. So our emotions, and I love this, <laughs> our emotions can be the byproduct of what's going on in our organs. Most definitely. Well, there you go. Maybe those emotions that we're having, especially the snappiness, I know in the past we used to say, oh, don't worry about him, he's just a little liverish today. We knew about that some time ago. Maybe our emotions can even be a byproduct of what's going on in our environment, what we're putting on our skin, and all of that, as we've just heard, gets into our digestive system. So, even from an emotional point of view, could a colonic take away that pressure, take the stress off the liver, the stress off the gallbladder, and your emotions most likely may improve? Think about it. Is it worth having a colonic? I love them. Thank you for watching another one of Don's Get Your Health Back series.